A lawsuit will soon be filed by the family of Jamie Johnson. He was shot and killed late last year by a Jacksonville Sheriff's officer during a traffic stop in Jacksonville. And this week, video of that shooting was released by the state attorney's office, which also ruled the shooting was justified. But Johnson's family says the video tells another story. On your side's Robert Bradfield is live at the Sheriff's office with concerns about this investigation that cleared the JSO officer. And you will hear from Jamie Johnson's father here in just a moment, but the attorney for the family doing most of the talking during an afternoon news conference saying he believes there was a concerted effort to cover up or create a justification for the shooting. Those were his words earlier today. However, Jamie Johnson's parents saying they are vowing to get to the bottom of what happened because right now they have more questions than answers. Images in the shooting death of Jamie Johnson paint a picture their family attorney Harry Daniels says of misstatements made by Jacksonville Sheriff's officers. And I think it's very clear that the video doesn't show Jamie reaching for a weapon. Officer Josue Garriga, who shot Johnson, remembered it this way, writing, During the physical struggle, I was able to grab the right wrist of the driver, which the handgun was still in, and was able to push myself out of the vehicle. As I exited, I observed the suspect moving his body in my direction, and I believe he still had the gun in his possession. Based on the Regan's statements that he's given versus the evidence and the video evidence that we have is inconsistent. Quite frankly, we don't believe what he's saying is truthful. Daniels points to still frames of the shooting, including when Johnson was shot, which he says happened outside the vehicle with Johnson's hands in the air without a gun. A gun was found inside Johnson's car. At an earlier point in the video, you can hear Johnson tell the officer he had it in his jacket pocket, but pictures from JSO show the gun partially uncovered after the shooting. Even though he made bad decisions that day, that's not grounds for an execution. Johnson's father, Harvey, wants an independent outside investigation. Daniels wants to know why the state attorney's office didn't follow up with an eyewitness. But we were told that eyewitness was Johnson's cousin, who, according to the state attorney's office, denied seeing anything when first contacted by police just hours after the shooting. Daniels says a federal lawsuit is forthcoming, but did not explain what it may include. Johnson's family says their investigation into his death is not over. So we will keep fighting for him until the end. Now, Daniels did indicate today that he would be filing that federal lawsuit soon and also said it would include those directly related to Johnson's shooting and involved there. Also tonight, we can tell you a spokesperson for the state attorney's office says it stands by its conclusion the shooting was justified. Live downtown tonight, Robert Bradfield, First Coast News on your side. Robert, thank you.